Okay. Policy advocacy, the role of the patient side nurse. Ma'am? Ma'am? Hi, I'm Dr. Robinson. How are you doing? Oh, hey, Dr. Robinson. I'm doing great today. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I just um, stopped by to see how you were doing today. I'm doing all right. I do got a couple questions I need to ask. Oh, on the page you're going off. Uh, what, what did I do? Hold on just a list? minute. Hold on just a minute. Let, I got Let me just find. Oh, I got a list of right here. It's in my phone. You know? Well, ma'am, I just came here to see how you were doing. You just let uh, the nurses on, know. I wanted to ask you something about my medication that you put on. You put on, me, on some new pills yesterday or something. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Let's see what well, you don't have the list already, but I, I'm on a tight schedule. Dr. Tight Dr. schedule. Dr. Robinson, I need j just hold on, okay? Just hold on. Okay, let's see. Okay. Let's see. You put me on. Just tell the nurses about it. I got to go right now. Girl, Dr. Robinson came in here this morning. I'm laying in the bed asleep. I think about 5.30 this morning, she come, didn't even knock on the door, just barged in here, flipped on the light, talking about ma'am, ma'am. And I'm thinking, don't I have a name? And then, I'm trying to ask the lady some questions about medication. She ain't saying nothing about what I'm going home. She ain't tell me what t test they running on me. I got, it's just a mess. I don't, not a nurse in here. I don't even know what's Ms. going on. Miss Hamilton. I don't even know if she knocked on the door, honey. Girl, I don't call you back. Bye. Hi, I'm Nurse Stovall. How are you? I'm not doing <coughs> You all right? Yeah, I just got a little sinus problem. Well, you know, I got congestive heart failure and I don't need to be around no sick nurses or nothing well, like honey, that. I'm so sorry. What is your director's name? Because this is just ridiculous. I can't even. The doctor that came in here this morning. Ma'am, what I have is not contagious. How you know? You a doctor? No, ma'am, but I've been seen by a doctor. Can we just And what did they say you got? Miss Hamilton. Stay focused, ma'am. Ma Stay focused. Now tell me how you're doing. That's the main concern. I'm not doing well. Dr. Robinson came in here this morning. I wanted to ask her about the new medication she put me on yesterday. She just blew me off. She said the patient was going off. She just left out of the room and told me to come to y'all. Y'all ain't my doctor. She was my doctor. Now what kind of problems are you having? First of all, she ain't saying nothing. How long I'm going to be here? She ain't oh, telling me about no test. Hold on, just a minute. Hold on, hold on. Now hey, here my... you go cutting me off just like her. What kind of I hospital hear them hating my name. Can you please hold on just a minute? They gonna have to call the law in here in just a little while because I'm gonna Ms. go Hamilton, off in here. Please, please. I'm trying okay. to hear what they're saying okay. now. I don't hear them calling you. Okay, that's fine. They're not calling me. I'm are you sorry. gonna, are you you gonna listen proceed. to me? Are you gonna listen to me? I will. Like I'm just waiting I've been on you to tell I, me what's going the, on. Since the doctor came in here, my heart has been racing. My chest been hurt. Well, seems like to me you're getting upset on nothing. Well, y'all make to be upset. All right, sweet. Y'all not Lay back for me. Lay back, please. Take a listen. That's cold. I'm sorry. Oh, you don't care, do you? When was the last time your bowels moved? Can you raise your arm up for me, please? You could have just asked me. You touched me. Oof. I don't know. A week ago. A week ago? Mm hmm They don't move but once a week. And you hadn't told anyone? Can you sit up for me? I ain't been here but two days. Who well, I'm supposed to tell myself at the house? I don't go but once a week. No, ma'am. You're supposed to go at least every day. Mm -hmm. Everybody don't go once a day. The normal says that you should go every day. I just tell you. You just know everything, don't you? No, but this is one of the reasons why I went to nursing school. <sighs> now, is there anything else I can do for you? Yes, ma'am. I would like for you to get the doctor back in here. I, I need for the doctor to answer, do. answer me some questions. I will see what I can questions. do. Dr. Robinson's can very busy. Can you check to see if any tests I got going on? I sure tell will. Me anything. I sure will. How long is it going to take you to come back? Well, I'll be back in a few minutes, okay? This is the way for the patient side nurse not to act. she was very helpful. I had some questions to ask about the medication and just what I need to do when I, you know, go home and 
what what else they were doing here and she was just very helpful in giving me the information that I needed. Mm -hmm. I just I you know, I if you see her or if you you know, just tell somebody she was a really great doctor. Okay, she really I'm done sure a great will. job. Now is there anything I can do for you this morning? Um <coughs> excuse me, excuse me, Bell. I've been having kind of, you know, a hard time breathing a little bit, you know, I guess it's fluid just to kind of, you know, I got a lot on me, but maybe she said, uh a diuretic or something. Diuretic? She said um, they was giving it, it's going to pull fluid off of me yes, or something ma to help. Mm -hmm. So maybe that'll help me with my breathing or something. I don't know. But um, I, I really don't need anything, you know. I mean, y'all really doing a great job. Now, I have really you been urinating and everything? Uh huh. Yes, ma'am. I done went by twice this morning already. And did the text do your weight this morning? Oh, uh, yes, ma'am. Okay. All right. Well, let me just take a listen at you and okay. see how everything sounds. Okay. Now, just be patient with me. I got a little congestion, but the doctor told me it was my sinuses, so it's not too bad. Right? Oh, I know about those congestion. sinuses. I got all that, too. You hear me sniffling, too, so. Okay. Can you sit up for yeah. me, please? Okay, take a deep breath for me in and out. Okay. Okay, if you lay back for me, I'll take a listen at you. Tell me, when's the last time your bowels moved? Oh, about two days ago. That's good. Now, are you taking anything to assist with your bowels moving? No, ma'am, I just eat me some good old food sometimes, you know, and I, I go pretty regular. Now, explain to me what kind of foods you're talking about when you say good old foods. Well, I eat stuff like uh, them collard greens, and I eat a lot of wheat bread and stuff like that. Okay. Um, I like I like a whole bunch of stuff. Now, are you eating a lot of salt in your well, food? Well, I do cook with some salt, and sometimes I add salt in it. I eat hot sauce. I love it. Now you do realize that salt is not your friend right now having CHF. You have to really decrease your salt intake and your sodium intake because salt pulls in fluid. Oh yeah, Dr. Robertson did tell me that too. You're yeah. right. Okay. It's hard, but I found things like Mrs. Dash mm -hmm. helps a lot with the seasoning of your food. Oh. I know how we like to season our food because we have to make, we have to taste yeah, it. Yeah, love that taste. Okay, Mrs. Dash, I'll have to try that. Okay. I'll have to do that. I appreciate that. Uh, now, are that, you going to have someone coming to pick you up? or? Um, uh, yes, my daughter, she's going to come and pick me up. Okay. Me. okay. Now, are you going to need any assistance at home, like home health or no, therapy? No, my daughter comes up every day and checks on me and stuff. I think everything will be fine right now. Dr. Robinson told me the only medicine um, I was going to be going home it was a water pill or something, mm -hmm. and um, I had asked about my cholesterol. She said it was kind of borderline, but if I just did my diet, you know, pretty good, that I probably shouldn't have to be on any medicine for that. So I'm just going to have to buckle down, you know, because it's my first trip in. And I don't want it to be my, you know, yeah. I don't want to keep coming in. I want it to be my last if I can help it. And it can be, just a matter of you taking care of yourself, eating the right foods, and letting your doctor know if there's any problems coming up. Any weight, excessive weight gain or mm -hmm. anything like Dr. Robinson said. Yeah, okay. Do y'all have, have booklets or something about We do. We have pamphlets and um, they I can give print me out some education. Yes, ma'am. Okay. I can print that all out for you before you go home. Okay. That would be wonderful. Okay. I really appreciate it. You really helped me. Oh, you're welcome. Y'all were just really, y'all done just a good job. I mean, I really appreciate that. You know, my first time in the hospital and just kind of nervous about it. And you really, get, you know, put me at ease, giving me the well, education that I Well, that's one of the I roles needed. of the nurse, to be the patient advocate. You know, the best of nurse, we have to be the advocate for the patient because if we're not here for you, then, you know, we can't expect anyone else to. So, anything you need, make sure you let us know, okay? I sure will. I thank you very much. All right, dear. You have a good day. You too.